Total Pro Sports presents the 15 most hated teams in the NFL. The NFL is the most popular sporting league in America by far. 16 regular season games, three to four playoff wins needed to hoist the Lombardi Trophy. Of course, like any sport, every team has many fans and many haters. It's easy to see why. After all, the NFL does have some of the biggest jerks, whiners, and cheaters in the league. Here are the 15 most hated teams in the NFL. Number 15, Denver Broncos. The team that won Super Bowl 50 has never commanded a nationwide amount of hatred, but they surely haven't won fans either. The New England Patriots fans will never love them, thanks to Peyton Manning getting past them to win the Super Bowl. They also ended Pittsburgh's playoff hopes and in the last few years have dominated just about every team. Oh, and some people hate Vaughn Miller for being such a sack machine. Number 14, San Francisco 49ers. Go back in the Jim Harbaugh era or way back in the Joe Montana and Steve Young days and you'll see more 49ers haters. But since their dynasty years, they haven't seen a whole lot of success. Still, people hated Colin Kaepernick, Harbaugh, and a spoiled fan base. The 49ers' hatred will stick around for a long time in some places like Seattle. Number 13, Chicago Bears. When you're one of the oldest pro sports teams in American history, you're going to draw many haters over time. The Bears have a lot of people who disapprove of them in the Green Bay and Minnesota, the rival teams of Chicago. Also, Jay Cutler's whiny attitude over the years hasn't won a lot of fans over either. Number 12, New York Jets. Some people just want to hate New York teams because of how marketable they are. No other city attracts more media. The Jets drew a lot of enemies in the Rex Ryan era. His trash talk, loud mouth the attitude landed a lot of people rooting against the Jets. They remain arch rivals with the New England Patriots, and that won't change no matter who is coaching them. Number 11, New Orleans Saints. The Saints were a great feel-good story when they won Super Bowl 44 against the Indianapolis Colts, years after the city was hit hard by Hurricane Katrina. But then Bountygate came out, where they were paying players to intentionally hurt others in 2012. That's just about all you need to draw hates. Nobody wants to cheer for dirty cheaters like that. Number 10, Carolina Panthers. One of the youngest NFL franchises, the Panthers didn't draw as many enemies as they did in 2015. League MVP Cam Newton dominated the league, but also used excessive celebrations that drove the media and opposing teams crazy. After losing in Super Bowl 50, Newton left in the middle of post-game interviews. Since he didn't show sportsmanship, many people called him a sore loser, which made those fans angry. Number 9, Philadelphia Eagles. The Philadelphia sports fans are known to being a little too excessive. I mean, who boos Santa Claus at an NFL game? Aside from that, the Eagles are basically just despised by their NFC East foes. Their fans treat their own players horribly, run their mouths, but without a Super Bowl, haven't been able to back up the talk. It's just like dealing with an annoying fly that won't leave. Number 8, Green Bay Packers. When you're the most successful football franchise ever, you have many fans, lots of history, and even more people envying you. People hate the Packers because they always win. Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre have embarrassed their opponents. The Cheesehead Nation often takes over the stadium on Packers away games. Being a Bears, Lions, or Vikings fan can hurt you when you stack your team up against the Packers. Number 7, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Like the Packers, the Steelers are one of the most beloved and successful sporting franchises ever. But again, their fans are known to travel incredibly well, which can infuriate the home team crowds. And of course, they have embarrassed their opponents in the AFC North for years. Their rivalry with the Baltimore Ravens is like no other. Oh, and Ben Roethlisberger's off-the-field issues haven't garnered a lot of support outside of Pennsylvania. Just win, Pittsburgh. Number 6, Washington Redskins. Many people hate the Redskins for multiple reasons. Mike Shanahan's treatment of Robert Griffin III is one of them. But the name controversy and owner Dan Schneider's selfish ways and commitment to keeping the name that have left the city embroiled in so many pointless battles over keeping the name. Shouldn't Snyder just stop being so greedy? He always has to have his way. Number 5. Baltimore Ravens The Ravens have produced some of the greatest defensive players ever, as well as some heavy hitters and loudmouths. Ray Lewis was beloved, but also hated for his passion, intensity, and trash talk on other teams. Terrell Suggs didn't win many fans outside of Baltimore either. The Ravens have been in rivalries with the Patriots and Steelers, and they've been as fierce as ever. Number 4. Oakland Raiders Though the Raiders haven't been an elite team in many years, they still have a lot of people who love to watch them lose. Owner Al Davis didn't seem to have a lot of supporters outside of California despite his great ownership, but the Raiders' faithful have been known to be hard to deal with. They're great, but sometimes overly passionate, especially without much to celebrate. Number 3. Seattle Seahawks 
When you win a lot, people hate you. No one likes playing in the Pacific Northwest, which is consistently the loudest stadium in the NFL. The Seahawks fan base is one reason people hate them, often attracting bandwagon fans. But still, Richard Sherman's loud, outspoken antics have drawn so much hatred towards Seattle. Also, they can crush just about every team. They single-handedly ended the 49ers' successful reign under Jim Harbaugh. They crushed Denver in the playoffs and seemed to find ways to beat everybody. When you always win, nobody likes you, except your own fans and bandwagon fans. Number 2. Dallas Cowboys There are so many reasons why people hate the Dallas Cowboys. Owner Jerry Jones has always fought hard to make sure he always gets his way. People hate the many bandwagon fans. People hated Michael Irvin, Terrell Owens, and Des Bryant's whiny antics. People hate Tony Romo. He's been overhyped but consistently choked. Oh, and the Cowboys always get primetime slots even though they're not consistently a great team. Yay. And number one, the New England Patriots. Oh, Patriots fans, why do you hate it when you're number one on lists like this? Here's the rundown. The Spygate controversy, the Deflategate controversy, the Tom Brady rule, some of your bandwagon and arrogant fans, your spoiled Tom Brady, Val Belichick, and yes, people do hate seeing you win consistently. But unlike the San Antonio Spurs in the NBA, this team never wins consistently without class or controversy. And that's it for the 15 most hated teams in the NFL. But wait, we are not done with you yet. In the comments below, we want to know, what team do you hate the most in the NFL? And for more cool videos, click subscribe.